So hello guys, this is a quick guide on weapons in Star Sector. When I started playing this game, there were no good guys on YouTube that I could find. So I decided to make this fast guide to help new players at least to have some idea what to look for. One more thing before we start the video, Star Sector is in my experience very balanced game in terms of weapons, so I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Also, if you're interested in pick a tier list, I'm sure you can find something on Reddit. So let's get going. Small weapons. Okay, starting with one of my favorite kinetic weapons, it's the Light Needler. It is an anti-shield weapon that shoots quick burst that deal nice amount of damage, uh, has a decent range and also the DPM to flux ratio is also very nice. Ok so the next small weapon is the light assault gun. Uh, it is there if you want to deal some anti-armor damage. Uh, it also has quite decent range with good DPM to flux ratio. Now let's go with small missile pods. The first one is Sabbath SRM. These are shield missiles that can burst shields on a smaller ship in a matter of seconds. So next are my favorite missiles. It's the Harpoon MRM. They deal anti-armor damage. They have nice range and good tracking. And as you can see, they're absolute monsters in terms of damage. Okay, so now let's go to the energy weapons. Uh, this might be a bit controversial, but I don't find them as good as the other weapons. If you have to use them, go for the antimatter blaster. It is short range, fires really slowly, but it has a really nice burst of damage when fired. I also like uh, a tactical razors because they have really long range, but they don't deal that much damage. Medium weapons. Okay, so we are getting to the bigger weapons, starting with the heavy needler. You already know the story, it is an antimatter weapon, good range, deals burst of nice amount of damage and it's quite flux efficient. The next weapon, it's the heavy autocannon. This weapon you can find very easy in the early game. It has a good range and a good damage. You cannot go wrong with it. Okay, let's go on to the medium missile pod. The first is the Annihilator. Personally, it's not my favorite, but they go really well with hegemony ships like Onslaught and Dominator. As you can see, they fire in a straight line with no tracking, but there is a lot of them. And now again, my favorite missile, it's the Harpoon MRM pod. God, I love these things. Against the destroyer, it's not as effective because he can destroy most of them at the start, so they don't deal that much damage. But these missiles have nice range, good tracking and great damage. So I really recommend them. Okay, and as the energy weapons go, take out the phase lands. It deals nice amount of damage in quite short bursts. Large weapons. Okay, so the first kinetic large weapon is the Hephaestus Assault Gun. It deals huge amount of damage to the armor and has also a nice range and it doesn't eat your flux that fast. I really recommend this gun. Okay, so the next weapon is Mark 9 Auto Cannon. This is a great anti-shield weapon. It has nice range and it shreds through the shields like a butter. The same thing as the previous gun, it doesn't eat through your flux, so it's very nice. Okay, so now for the large missile launchers and we have here the hurricane launcher. This is in my opinion the best missile launcher in the game. It can sometimes one shot ships like it's nothing. It fires one rocket that splits into barrage of the small ones. Also, one quick thing. I should have not put Dominator as a showcase ship for the launchers. And now for the large energy weapons. We'll start with Tachyon Lens. In my opinion, the small and the medium energy weapons are kinda meh. But the large ones like Tachyon Lens is something different. It has huge range combined with huge damage bursts. That makes it my go-to energy large weapon. And now for the last weapon we will discuss today. And it's the Plasma Cannon. It is probably the biggest weapon in the game. It has decent range and deals absurd amount of damage. Only thing that holds this weapon back is that it eats through your flux in no time. But still, the damage is unrivaled. 
So this is the end of the video, hope you enjoyed it, and as I said, this game has many amazing weapons in it. So if I forgot one of your favorite weapons, leave it down below. And also, have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe.